News 8. Boots and Barrels is back this year. It's coming up on June 8th. It is at the Heritage Christian Stables on Salt Road in Webster. I'm delighted to welcome back to the program uh, Samantha Shawbrook, the Stables Program Manager, along with Belinda Andalina, who is a Heritage Christian Board of Directors member, along with a volunteer at the Stables as well. Thank Great you. Great to have you both back in studio. You know, we've talked about this program, uh, this event for a couple of years. Uh, Melinda, what's new this year? Same place. Same place, on site, uh, and a bistro lighting, a tents are up. And we are expanding our tastings from our local craft beers mm -hmm. to whiskey tastings and wine tastings from our neighbors uh, down in the Finger Lakes Community College. They have a wine program, so we're going to be tasting that. And just today, we solidified a chocolate tasting. Oh. So that's a little different. And we're going to pair that with some of our craft beers from Knucklehead, Genesee Brewery, and noble, noble Shepherd. This thing is called a classy hoedown. When we say that, what are people going to be doing at this event, Boots and Barrels? Certainly. They're going to be coming in to the stables. They're going to visit the barn. They're going to see the activities there, see the horses. They're going to dress down in casual clothes, in their jeans, shorts, come in and enjoy a classy hoedown with dinner, live music, silent auction and a live auction you're too. gonna have a lot of fun that night that's for we sure are. sam I, I i think on some level it's important that this that this take place at the stable so people can make the connection to what it is they're really supporting yeah for sure what are they supporting uh, you know, people sign up for a variety of reasons. I think that um, it's huge that we get the support and the knowledge out there that the physical and emotional benefits of horseback riding are uh, wonderful. But honestly, people come for the horses and they stay mm -hmm. for, um, you know, more than that. The friends, the camaraderie, the pat of your favorite horse, high fives. Um, We've really established a community amongst our riders, our participants, our volunteers, and it's special. You know, when you leave, you always feel better. I hear wonderful things about so many aspects of our program. Really, though, you've encapsulated it. When you leave, you feel better. Is that the essence of this program, that when the, the riders, uh, what they experience while they're there, uh, on some level, is transformative. 100%. Mm -hmm. I think that you come through the doors as individuals with your own differences, your own personal goals, but you're there to make a difference, whether you need physical help or you need emotional support or you need that shoulder from a horse or a friend. It's, mm -hmm. it's there, and we're all part of it. We all support it. What a wonderful concept. Uh, Melinda, mm -hmm. uh, time to get tickets, but it's, they're, they're going quickly. They're going quickly. <laughs> we we, we, we've increased them uh, to 250 uh, available tickets, and we're closing our doors on May 29th yeah. for ticket sales. All right. So, so act per, now. Yeah, act now. Right. It's a fun event on site. We're looking forward to it again this Good. year. Boots and Barrels is going to be great. Thank you again for coming Thank in. You. Thank we you really Mark. appreciate it. All right, so as we said, act quickly. Here's how you get your tickets online, heritagechristianstables.org backslash boots what else right if you miss that we're sharing this and more on our site at rochesterfirst.com